At Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a once successful but now abandoned family entertainment center, a night guard desperately attempts to flee the building but is captured by a red pirate-themed fox animatronic and strapped to a device which plants an empty animatronic head onto him by brutally mutilating his face, killing him. After assaulting a negligent father whom he mistook for a kidnapper, mall security guard Mike Schmidt is sent to visit career counselor Steve Raglan. He offers Mike a job as a night guard at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Though initially reluctant, Mike accepts the offer after social services threaten to take custody of his younger sister Abby and pass her over to their estranged Aunt Jane, whose motive is a monthly paycheck from the state due to custody of Abby. On his first night, Mike falls asleep and dreams about his brother Garrett's kidnapping and presumed murder, before seeing five children who witnessed it. When Mike tries to approach them, they run away. On the second night, Mike's dream is repeated, but when he attempts to confront one of the children, he is attacked and wakes up. Mike meets police officer Vanessa Shelley, who notices his wounds and patches him up. Vanessa shows him around the restaurant and tells him that it closed in the 1980s after five children were murdered there, their bodies were never found. Jane hires a group of juvenile delinquents to vandalize the restaurant in order to get Mike fired an act which would enable her to gain custody of Abby. As the break-in occurs, the restaurant's animatronic mascots come alive and slaughter the delinquents. Among the vandals is Abby's babysitter Max, whose death results in Mike having to bring Abby to his next shift.